Have you ever had the Microsoft Teams call where you went looking like this? Do this, do this, do this, all within one click of a button. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to look your very best in every single Microsoft Team call within seconds. So when you hop on a Microsoft Team call, you can click more actions and you'll see here the video effects and settings. When you click the video effects and settings here on Microsoft Teams, you can see here that it is mainly just to change your background. So let me show you how that looks. And you have a virtual background in your Microsoft Team call. Unfortunately, if you do not have a paid Microsoft Teams account, that's pretty much all the customization you can do. There are some additional settings here at the Appearance tab. But as you can see here, I cannot click them because I have a free Microsoft Teams account. And while that may be a bummer, don't worry because I have the perfect solution. If you want to find out how to add professional grade beauty filters to your Microsoft team calls, keep watching because I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. It's super simple, easy to do, and you don't need any coding experience to do it. If you want to customize and create your own video filters, then you're going to need an app called Filter On Me. So what exactly is Filter On Me? It is a standalone app where you can customize and create your own video filters for any video call or stream. The amazing thing about Filter On Me is that it not only works for Microsoft Teams, it works for Google Meet, Zoom, Twitch, Discord, Slack, Streamlabs, and many more apps. Plus, it's available for download for both Windows and Mac. Once you download Filter On Me, it's going to look like this. And as you can see here, there are different settings that we can play around with later on to create the perfect video filter. Now, before I walk you guys through everything you can do here on Filter On Me, let me show you guys how it looks. So this is how I look without any filter. And this is how I look with one of the presets that I created. Filter On Me is broken down by each part of your face. And I noticed that it follows the steps of a traditional makeup routine. So the first section is the base tab. Here you can find the filters that tweak your complexion. I'm sure we're familiar with foundation, highlighter, contour, and blush. But of course, this wouldn't be a beauty filter app without additional features such as teeth whitening, soft light, and skin smoothing. And with every slider here, you can adjust the intensity. You can make it as subtle or as obvious as you would like. And with every slider that affects color, you can adjust the color as you would like it to be. You can make it as crazy or as natural as you'd want it to be. The choice is really up to you. Not only can you select the blush color, but you can also select the blush style. So here you can select different options of how the blush is going to be placed onto your face. I think this is a really cool feature if you feel that the original preset doesn't work well on your face and you can really customize the shape. Not only can you alter how your complexion looks, you can also alter the shape of your face. Here at the Shape tab, this is where you can manipulate and tweak how your face looks. So there are plenty of different options here, but you can do things like face narrowing. So if you want to make your face look slimmer, or you want to make your forehead bigger or smaller, if you want your jaw to be thinner or thicker, there are a lot of different options that you can play around with to modify the shape of your face. And as always, you can make it as subtle or as extreme as you'd want it to be. The next tab we have here is the eyes. Here you can play around with how your eyes look. Again, so many things you can do with your eyes. You can change the eye position, make it higher or lower on your face. You can make your eyes bigger. You can make them more round. There are so many things that you can play around with here and have a little fun with. One of my favorite sections on Filter On Me is actually the eye makeup because I love how thorough it is for virtual filters. Here you can change your eyebrow color, you can add eyeliner, eyeshadow, and even darken your lashes. You can really see the thought and the detail put into this app because again, who thinks of adding filters for your eyelashes? But it doesn't stop there because you can also manipulate how your eyebrows look. So for example, I can make it more arched, I can make it higher or lower onto my face. I think it's really cool, especially if you want to explore how different eyebrow shapes look on you. So a secret hack for Filter On Me is you can do all the crazy things you want to try on your face before you actually do them. There's so many different options at the lips tab alone. First, you can choose what kind of lipstick you have on your lips. You can choose from matte, shiny, or glitter. 
I think it's really cool that you can pick the finish of your lipstick even if it's a virtual filter and you can really see the differences between each lipstick type. You can even add lip liner here on Filter On Me which I think is a really cool touch especially if you want to just add a little bit of dimension to your lips. And similar to the other sections we just covered, you can also tweak how your lips look so you can make it bigger. You can change the height, you can change the thickness. You can really play around with how your lips look and see what works for you before you actually do it in real life. Here at the nose tab, you can basically give yourself a virtual rhinoplasty so you can play around with the length, the width, the position. So you can really play around with how your nose looks. There's so many options you can play around with, whether you want to make it a little silly, you want to make it more natural, or you really want to go over the top and extreme. Speaking of being a little silly, not only does Filter On Me have beauty filters, they also have some fun filters that you can play around with. There's actually a good selection of fun filters to play around with that you can bust out in any Microsoft team meeting for a little bit of fun. Here we have Alien Worm, then we have Round Boy, and we have the Dancing Potato. So this app really has it all from beauty to fun. And with all the different settings that you can play around with and customize, of course, you're bound to create the perfect video filter for you. And once you do that, you can actually save it as a preset. Once you created the perfect combination for you, you can just go here at the preset tab and press save and just give it a name. As you can see here, I saved a couple of different presets, which I use depending on my mood. Once you're happy with the presets that you've created, now it's time to apply it onto your Microsoft Team. And I'm telling you, it's simpler than it looks. All you need to do is just click the camera button right here, and you're going to switch it to the Filter On Me camera. And as you can see, your preset is already applied. That's all you need to do to apply your Filter On Me filters to your Microsoft Teams. Filter On Me will apply the last preset you selected or the last settings you had on the app. If you want to know more about Filter On Me or you want to try it out for yourself, you may visit our website at filteronme.com for more information. And if you have any questions about Filter On Me, feel free to leave them down below in the comments.